these are my five favorite games shown off during the Xbox Starfield Showcase. With gorgeous stop-motion inspired animation, beautiful character designs, and an intriguing first look, I personally loved seeing South of Midnight's premiere. If the gameplay and world look even half as good as this first teaser, I'd likely pick this one up. And considering this is coming from Compulsion Games, the same people who made We Happy Few, I think we can expect some mind-warping sequences in this one. I haven't played much of Sea of Thieves in recent history, but the inclusion of a story-based series of missions based on Monkey Island certainly grabbed my attention. My only hope is that I can get a group of people together who have played Sea of Thieves and who know what Monkey Island is to appreciate this with me, but I'll certainly set sail once more come July 20th. Steampunk is one of those genres I've always kind of admired from afar, but when a game manages to do it right, it's hard to ignore. Clockwork Revolution looks like it takes a lot of inspiration from Bioshock, but with a healthy dose of time travel thrown in instead of dimension hopping. I'm intrigued to see what the folks over at In Exile have planned for this one, and eagerly await more news coming soon. Obsidian Entertainment has my eternal devotion thanks to stellar games like South Park The Stick of Truth, Knights of the Old Republic 2, and of course Fallout New Vegas. With Avowed, I expect we'll see lots of well-written characters, impressive gameplay, and incredibly diverse ways of building your character, and I can't wait to explore this vibrant world that they've shown off. Avowed is currently set to release in 2024, and here's hoping we can convince them to also make New Vegas 2 at some point. Fable as a franchise is one that I've always found entertaining, and while some of the games are better than others, I remain skeptically optimistic of Playground Games' upcoming entry into the series. This entry looks like it will have a heavy emphasis on cinematic gameplay, but as long as they include funny gameplay, funny scenarios, and that quirky British humor that came to define the series, I think it's off to a great start. I mean, hell, casting Richard Aowadi as a vegetable-loving giant is already a fantastic start. And I hope you're sitting down because... 